going to try some eddy current levitation. Now, we'll start with Faraday's law. He says that a change in a magnetic flux will generate an EMF. And here's the formula down here. This, this epsilon E, this EMF, it's the induced voltage. And it's equal to the change in magnetic flux over a change in time. Now, Lentz came along and he said that the polarity of the induced EMF is such that it opposes the change which produces it. This is the minus sign. Now, Faraday came up with his law just empirically. He, he derived it from observation or experiment. Now, we're going to try and experiment ourselves. I wound up a coil wire, and if we put a current through it in this direction, we create a magnetic field with the north pole on the bottom here. That induces a, an EMF in this metal plate, this piece of aluminum, with the current going in the opposite direction creating a north field up here. We have two north poles. They repel each other, and hopefully my coil will levitate. Now, this happens uh, for 1 20th of a second, and then it's going to switch over to a, a south pole, south and south poles. I'm going to put 120 volts AC, 60 hertz, into this coil. The peak value of 120 hertz is going to be 170. You take the RMS value times the square root of 2, 1.414, to get your, your peak value. It's about 170 volts. It's going to start at 0 and rise up to 170 in about 4 milliseconds, and then back down to 0, and then rises up in the other direction to 170 volts in about 4 milliseconds, and then back down to 0. This, one, this whole cycle is going to take about 16.67 milliseconds. If you divide that into 1,000, you get about uh, 60. It's 1 60th of a second, 60 cycles. Now, we can determine the, the amount of pressure, the amount of force you need to hold this, uh, this coil up. My coil weighs about 2 pounds. And uh, we could use this formula here. And, uh, but... I think I'm just going to go out into the uh, shop and uh, try to do it with uh, brute force. We'll put as much current in there it takes to, uh, to raise it off the surface. Uh, yeah, we're out in the uh, shop, and I've got the coil sitting on an aluminum plate, and we're going to give it a try. I've got about 250 feet of uh, number 16 extension cord here in series with it to, uh, to reduce the voltage, because the first time I tried it, it just flew up too high off the plate and drew 60 amps and popped my, uh, my circuit. So I'm going to try it again with 250 feet of, of uh, extension cord and see how, many, see how it does, see how many amps we draw here. Here we go. That's about as long as I can go. We'll get a, we'll get a close-up of the amps and the, and the voltage on this thing. It is levitating though.